Welcome to Clumsy Dog. Today we're going to be putting together a Blackstone 28 inch griddle. It's exciting. It's the first griddle I'll have owned, uh, propane, and we're gonna, I guess we're gonna do an unboxing, assembly, review, and seasoning. I'm just gonna follow the instructions on seasoning it. I watched a bunch of stuff online just kind of like you're doing right now and uh hopefully we can cook on it tonight we got a lot of time so i, th I think we'll be able to get there you ready to get this thing put together yeah all right let's go Okay, so so far this is pretty easy. Um, the pieces are labeled pretty clear. I had some trouble with the thumb screw on one of the legs. It's like it wasn't threaded all the way through. So I just took the wheel off and hard threaded it in, then backed it out. looking earlier trying to figure out what the burners actually look like and they're actually in an H pattern like this which seems like it'd be really good obviously for distributing the heat over the griddle and everything because some some even though it's only two burners you can see it comes out into like this fork pattern like this this is what I was looking at um because people with the other grills griddles talked about the the tubes just being like one straight but I couldn't find anything about how these were laid out and I didn't see any pictures either so there you go it's actually not that heavy 
It's just the box is kind of awkward. Okay, so that took what? I don't know. Like 40 minutes. Yeah. 30, 30 to 40 minutes. I think the only way that it it it, it lights is if the uh, those little initiating mods directly over the top of one of the holes in the thing, so I had to bend the left one over to get it to go. No debris on it at all. Get this season before supper time. Sam's gonna go make uh, the burger balls, and um, you know, give us a like, subscribe, hit the notification, get notified when we're always doing weird stuff. So far, as far as like reviews go, it was easy to put together. Figuring out how to start it was weird. The instructions say said it needed a double A battery, but there's nowhere to put a battery on this model. So if you have this one. Um, and I couldn't get it to ignite and I we read in the owner's manual the ignition wire needs to be exactly over one of the holes in the uh, the tube or whatever so just bent it just ever so slightly and then I guess there's just like a friction click or something like that that ignites it I don't know it's working I guess that's what they would consider to be changing color so let's get two tablespoons of canola oil on there Two tablespoons, and then we'll just we'll spread it around. Just spread it around with our cloth here. And then I guess you let it burn off and then you do it again. I think I saw online somewhere. They said do it about three or four times, something like that. And then I'll be seasoned and then I'm sure you'll do intermediate seasoning, you know, as you're using it every day. I don't know. I'll have to look into that. But hey. This is the first grill I've ever owned. You know, besides that one that I would put over the charcoal and use. You know, not that kind of griddle, but like real, like big boy kind of griddle. So, if you have any tips, you know, put in the comments, let me know. We'll let this burn off and we'll add a couple more coats to it and just keep going. Kind of looks a little cute there, tucked in the corner with the Weber kettle and the pit boss and the Blackstone. I want a nice finished outdoor kitchen. Maybe that'll be a project one day. That's round number two. I think it's looking more and more like a griddle. Yeah, I think one, one and a half tablespoons 
of oil might be the ticket. So I got some really cheap paper towels for this. We don't usually have paper towels. So I grabbed a two pack of the Walmart Great Value brand. So this might be different with a higher quality paper towel. But what I'm seeing as I'm spreading the well, the, the paper towels kind of, you know, getting a little crisp or whatever, um, and it'll, it'll flake off into these little like brown, just little brown flakes. I don't know how much that matters, but it said cleared of all debris. So I haven't really had the trouble just blowing it off like that, but just something to keep in mind. Again, it might, it might be a better quality paper towel. You might not, that might not happen. But I think that's the uh, third coat. So we're gonna do one more coat and then we'll probably be almost ready to cook. Well, based off the coloration, I can definitely see where the super hot parts are. I'm sure every piece of this thing is hot as the sun though, but that H pattern on the burners kind of, it seems to have a really even distribution right there in the middle, you know? So that's the fourth coat of oil. So I think when it burns off, I'm going to probably just turn it off and then go check on the uh, status of the smash burgers. And that Arkansas protein keeps nose diving on top of the griddle. I know it says keep it free of debris, but did they account for uh, suicidal mosquitoes? I'm gonna call that seasoned. Main voyage. It cooked good. Tastes like a smash burger. But it was easier to make. Yeah, I just don't have to mess with the charcoal and stuff, you know. And obviously, I can get a lot more on there. Oh, it's very crispy.